Much excitement in board shop, as you can tell by my excited demeanor. It's a new technology of surfboard for us um, from Matt Barlos and Lost. It is the C3 carbon cork composite surfboard finish. Um, what does it all mean? What it means is this, string and a CPS blank, carbon wrap on the rails, tail and nose, not on the bottom, with a cork inlaid deck, um, finished an S-glass, and then wrapped from the bottom with warp glass, which goes just over the edge of the cork to give it a proper seal. The corks, when it's adhered to the board, it sucks the resin through, so it fixes really, really well. The excess resin is scraped off, a little bit of room for a tail pad, and look at that. The highest quality finished surfboard we've ever seen here at Board Shop. Um, and with performance characteristics, which we'll come on to in a minute, to make sure that um, you get the most out of your board. So cool, um, carbon rather has a very, very high strength to weight ratio. So for a very lightweight board, you've got a board that's very strong. Carbon um, set on the rails, nose and tail, stops the board flexing torsionally like that, which means the board is more directional um, and feel, feels responsive because it feels a little stiffer, but it's lightning fast, um, probably 20% faster than a standard PU version of the same board in the same size. Um, <coughs> the cork deck's really interesting. Um, cork, when it gets wet, only go, increases weight by about 2%, so there's no need for wax. And when it's wet, it's super grippy. But the big bonus of it is, it dries out really, really quickly. So surf the board in the morning, stick it next to your desk at lunchtime. Within a very, very short period of time, it's totally dried out. It's not like you're gonna get on a, a soggy, wet board uh, for your next surf in the afternoon, if you're lucky enough to have two surfs a day. Um, <clears throat> and in the short round, this technology suits really, really well. Uh, the short round is a hybrid with a little bit of performance thrown in, lots of paddle power, lots of wave catching, uh, but with the ability to make the most of better conditions. I won't bang on about it too much because we've done other videos about the short round, which I'm sure you've watched religiously. Um, really, this is all about the construction and the quality of finish and what it can give to your surfing. Um, <coughs> I'm a tiny bit lost for words, which is unusual because the quality is so, so good and it would almost seem like a shame to surf it. But surf it, you must do because as Matt Barlos told us when he came over just before Christmas, the performance of these boys is something that is really, really noticeable above and beyond PU. So if you're surfing on a regular basis and you think it's worth the investment, I can assure you that it absolutely is. Um, we get a couple this weekend to surf uh, and see how they go. But from what I've heard from the people at Lost and people who, other people in the States have surfed them, they are well worth the investment. Um, now a couple of notes on the construction and what have you. Repairs, same as any epoxy board. If you hold it in the water, get it out straight away. Drain it properly before you, before you repair it. Use an epoxy repair kit or take it to your man. Um, the other thing is, as with all boards, don't leave them in hot cars, don't leave them in direct sunlight. Especially this, black absorbs heat quicker than white does. So this board will heat up quicker. So, you know, you're making an investment, look after it. This is the Ferrari of surfboards and treat it accordingly. Um, as usual, all the 0% finance, the trade-in, all that stuff, all the info's online, but um, this is hot property and they're not gonna hang around long. So have a look at them and enjoy, and thanks for watching.